today I have the privilege of sitting down with Felix, owner and head roaster, right? Owner. Oh, just and, the owner. Uh, we manage the roastery. And owner and <laughs> manager of the roastery for Nagati Coffee in Silver Spring, Maryland. We are at the Silver Spring Library in a cafe called Kefa Cafe, for which Felix supplies coffee. So, but we're gonna get in all that uh, right now. So, tell us how you got started in the coffee business. So, we started in about 2011. It's pretty much out of a uh, hobby. The idea was inspired by my wife. Okay. Uh, she's from Brazil and her family owns coffee farm. I have been visiting coffee farm pretty much every year and I've been taking it for granted. Okay. Coffee, actually, they are fruits and each one is, uh, each plot of, uh, of uh, land has different types of coffee. Right. So sunlight, altitude, varietal, soil, soil within a farm. Uh, creates differences, variety okay. in the taste of coffee. So then I started roasting as a hobby. We have a small roaster at home. Right. Once we do it for quite some time, then we started Nagari Coffee in 2011. I was reading uh, on your website about the name Nagari. There was, a, there was actually purpose in that name. What went into choosing? Correct. Choosing so that? Nagari means traveler. Okay. The origin of the word is from an ancient Ethiopian language called Ge'ez. Okay. It's like the Latin of the current uh, spoken language, the Amharic. The reason why I pick an ancient Ethiopian word, because coffee originated from Ethiopia. Right. So it's a metaphor. It's the birthplace of and coffee. And it traveled from Ethiopia around the world right. to develop its own. And from there, it develops its own characteristic based on the microclimate, the terroir. We travel. Mm -hmm. As the roast, as the uh, sorcerer and the roaster, right? The uh, customer, the drinker, should be able to travel through the flavors of coffee. What made you decide to turn your coffee lab into a cafe where you could serve customers directly? So when we started in 2011, uh, we started at a farmers market. So we built followers at the farmers market. At a farmers market, right. and uh, when we stopped doing the farmers market. These uh, followers, they ask if we are still serving coffee. As a wholesaler, we're trying to find a balance. We don't want to, uh, so we pick a Saturday. Right. A limited amount of time. Right. So we don't interfere with our uh, retail customers to make coffee beverages for our followers. We don't advertise, uh, everything is word of mouth. Okay. What are some misconceptions the average coffee drinker, the commodity coffee drinker has about coffee that you've since learned since you've been in the business? From my experience talking to customers, a lot of them did not realize that coffee is actually fruit. Okay. The beverage should taste like uh, fruits. Yeah, like it came from a like, fruit. Like uh, tangerine, berries, right. apple, right. not... Uh, charcoal or burn right. uh, notes that you find in a lot of uh, commodity, coffee. commodity coffee. If you had to lean one way or the other, do you think roasting is more art or more science? More art. More art? Okay. In terms of micro roasting, you need to use your smell and feeling okay. the heart okay. and create relationship bonding with the machine. Eventually, you can set all parameters, the time, right. the temperature, but you still need your smell, your feeling, right. eyes, right. So, ears. Because there, there's a lot of variables. Um, humidity, right. ambient temperature, right. whether it is summer, right. fall, or winter, or spring. We set uh, pretty much a straight line parameter. But the season will affect that. And that requires your smell, right. your eyes, what advice would you give to an experienced home roaster who's considering getting into the coffee business or maybe starting their own roastery? Understand the coffee, where it is coming from. Okay. Know the types of beans, okay. the altitudes. Drink as many coffee types as, po as possible. Not just ones you like? No. Okay. Be open. Okay. Be humble. Okay. Because when you're humble, then you're open to a lot of things. If you go to the website, it's nagadecoffee.com. Nagadecoffee.com. We, we can buy beans through there. How do people get in touch with you? They can uh, email, email us directly. Okay. Uh, usually that's the best way. Okay. I check my email pretty much every day. Okay. Uh, you can buy directly online. All right. 
right? And or you can come here to the to Kefa Coffee. To Kefa Coffee yeah. at the at the yeah, Silver Spring sure. Library. It's beautiful. Look up Nagate Coffee and stop by the Coffee Lab. Um, really, uh, really phenomenal coffee. Really great people. If you're in Silver Spring on a Saturday morning, you want some coffee, look up Nagate Coffee. Stop by. Uh, check them out and try some of their great coffee and take it back home for yourself. Thank you very much, uh, Vernon. Thank you for making time for me. Uh, absolutely. So, yeah. Felix? Coffee please. is about people. That's right. That's right. Absolutely.